What's going on, Lead Gen Beast? Matty Ice here, Leads for Locals. This is a follow up video to the one I did about how to create uh, a really cool uh, cheat sheet as a lead magnet uh, using uh, a couple of templates or really whatever template you want inside of Canva. If you missed that, I will link it down below. Definitely check it out. It is really good. It's a very effective way to generate leads and get people into your pipeline. In this video, I want to show you a really cool way to use that cheat sheet inside of high level and how to use the image slider feature to uh, uh, really help. I mean, you know, we use the cheat sheet to generate leads, but doing it um, using the cheat sheet in this way can help you convert those leads into sales and appointments. So make sure you stick to the end. I'm going to walk you through step by step how to use this, how to get the uh, cheat sheet in there and how to use this awesome feature inside of high level. And uh, if you don't mind, uh, if you find the video helpful, just hit that like button and uh, please go through my affiliate links in the description for high level and everything else, uh, if you don't mind. And uh, if you want to support the channel, I really appreciate it. And uh, side note, again, reason I'm not doing a uh, video, like I'm not on the video uh, like I usually am, uh, is because I'm in the Dominican Republic and the uh, internet is not as good. So I didn't want to lag the video um, uh, any worse than it might already be so but I just uh, I really wanted to show this to you guys a uh, really really neat feature so let's get into it um, so I have my uh, infinite banking cheat sheet here uh, let's go ahead and open this up and uh, so basically uh, I mean I kept this page really simple and here's the reason that uh, I think this is really really powerful it's because instead of just sending a PDF which that that does work um, and you know we're able to put links inside of the PDF but I really like sending people to a page because we can control what's on the page a little bit more. And we create uh, some pretty cool stuff, obviously, inside a high level. But, you know, like up here at the top, I have my uh, my navigation bar, you know, so they can book a coaching call. Uh, they can get my uh, Infinite Banking Masterclass. They can join my Facebook group. And again, you can add these things inside of the PDF, but um, it's just another way of delivering this lead magnet. And from there, uh, I keep it pretty simple. Just let them know that the cheat sheet's below. And uh, this is where I also link to the PDF. So um, if you saw in the last video, I show you how to bring the cheat sheet in uh, like a PDF version of the cheat sheet into high level and you're, you're able to use the link that high level gives you for it so people can download it. So basically what I did is I took that and uh, you know what, I'll just show it to you really quick. Um, we'll go back to media. So settings, media, we're gonna open the media library. And here is my uploaded PDF. I grab the link and on the page, come over here, I highlight this. Uh, let's try that again. Um, okay, not really sure why it's doing that. Let me try and refresh here. We're getting a little glitchy. Well, hopefully it comes up. Like I said, the the internet is not the best here. So All right, I'm just going to do that part. All right, so you, you would highlight this uh, link, paste it in, and you're good to go. All right. But uh, I really like this image uh, image slider feature. Let me actually preview it for you guys so you can see it. It's really cool. So we could scroll through here. We could scroll back. And then, of course, we have uh, the buttons on the bottom. So schedule a free coaching call. They can go directly to my masterclass if they want to consume more content. And, of course, the links all work uh, inside of um, the image slider. So, I can, they, again, they can click this. And uh, here's, here's another benefit, too, is, like, uh, when you watch the other video and you use the PDF version, uh, it doesn't, like, when they click the link in the image uh, on the PDF, it doesn't link out to a new tab. So people have to right click, open a new tab. Uh, otherwise, it takes them from the PDF directly to the content. Um, it can be a little bit annoying. Uh, not, a, not a huge deal, but again, this is just another benefit of using something like the image slider here because we can actually link this out to a new window. And I'll show you how to do that in a second. So, uh, but yeah, they can just scroll through here, get all the way to the end. All right, and request to book a call goes right to my calendar. So just uh, really cool stuff. So how do we build this? All right, so um, uh, basically what I did is, let's go back to my funnel here. So I made a uh, just a separate page in my funnel for this, and I kept it really, really simple here, guys. Um, as you can see, there's nothing nothing really crazy on the page. I just like to, I really like to keep things simple. All right, so I got my logo navigation bar at the top. Uh, for the navigation bar, uh, if you were to click on yeah, the element here, I don't want to get too much into this, but I'm just giving you a quick breakdown of uh, of the page. All right, uh, let's go to 
let's see, uh, navigation menu. That's what it is. All right. So that's what this part is. Um, everything else is just headlines, subline, uh, sub headlines, etc. All right. Let's get to the uh, image slider. I'm going to go ahead and add another image slider here. Sorry for the background noise. Got a motorcycle going by, but uh, we're going to select the image slider feature here. And uh, there's some pretty cool stuff that we can do. Uh, so first off, let's get our images in here. So uh, we're going to click on the first slide. We're going to scroll down, click on image. It's going to upload the, or bring up the media library and you're just going to upload file. And um, to do uh, to do this, uh, what you want to do, uh, let's go back to the cheat sheet in Canva. We're going to download um, each individual page within our cheat sheet. All right, so let's open this up. And over here at the, uh, at the top right, we're going to click share. We're going to click download. And then we're going to um, we're going to go to all uh, like uh, select pages here. And then we're going to make sure we just download one at a time. Um, because if you, I mean, I suppose you could download all of them. It just downloads them into a zip file and then you can extract them. Might be a little bit faster, but um, you can also just download each current, uh, each page uh, individually. Either way, just download it as a PNG file. And then we're going to, let's get rid of that. All right, uh, you're going to upload that into high level, which I have already done right here with all these things. All right, and uh, from there, we're going to, let's see, uh, my first page with this one. All right, so we're going to double click and you want to make sure you scroll down. Uh, I'm not really sure why it doesn't automatically add the width. It might be a glitch, but just make sure that you, you adjust the width. I think for mine, I did a 600 by 600. You can play around with the size if you want. It's up to you. Uh, just make sure that it gets the entire image here, uh, uh, like, like the image actually fits. All right, so play around with that. Uh, let's see. From here, we can add call to action links. And I'll just, uh, we'll add uh, another one here, All right? And I'll add one with uh, a call to action in it or like some kind of link. Actually, you know what? I'll just do the, the last page here, All right? Where it's got book a call, but it's not it, like this won't go anywhere yet. We have to actually put our link right here, All right? And it already has the HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash. So you don't need that part, but wherever you want to send them, from this particular image, you're going to paste that link in right here. All right. And then when you need to add additional slides, we're going to click add slide, uh, add slide and click that slide and you're just going to edit it. All right. So you're going to add the image, put the call to action link if you, if you have one <clears throat> and then that's it. All right. Uh, click save and you're pretty much good to go. Uh, it's a really easy feature to use, but very, very powerful way to incorporate into your marketing, into your follow-up sequence, and just a, a really effective way to deliver lead magnets so that uh, it helps convert leads into actual sales and appointments because we can put all our buttons on here. We've got our navigation bar. We can put a bunch of text here. And uh, I've just found it to be a very, very effective way to move people along in your pipeline. So I hope that was helpful, guys. Really awesome feature inside of High Level. Uh, of course, <laughs> every, pretty much everything about High Level is awesome. They've just got some really, really cool stuff. So anyways, if you guys have questions, uh, anything I missed, anything you want me to make a video on uh, when it comes to marketing, High Level, etc., drop that down in the comments. Uh, I'd love to hear your feedback. I uh, hope you guys are crushing it, and I will talk to you in the next one. Take care.